here at the 70th DJ commemoration. Joining us is General Philip M. Breedlove. Sir, as the Supreme Allied Force Commander, how does it make you feel to see all of these people all around the world come out to commemorate this special event? Well, it, you just can't buy this. You can't put it in a bottle. To see the, the nations, all of them represented around us, and to see this town, this country, this host nation coming out like this in the hundreds and thousands to thank our soldiers and to thank our veterans, it's amazing. It's a great feeling. Walking in the footsteps of the men who fought here, how does it make history more alive and significant to the relationships we have here in Europe? Well, you just can't feel it till you've done it. You don't know what it's like till you watch these little kids and their parents and their grandparents waving American flags, waving French flags, waving Brit flags, all the nations represented. But you get that touch of what it means to these people, the sacrifices that our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines made for this country and for these people. Sir, being the 17th Supreme Allied Commander, uh, what do you think the first Supreme Allied Force Commander, Dwight D. Eisenhower, was thinking on this day in 1944? Can you imagine? Can you imagine what he was thinking as he sent so many of our nation's sons ashore, knowing what was waiting for them, knowing what was going to be called for by them, knowing the sacrifices they would have to make. It's probably the most incredible decision of our military. And he stood up to it, and he sent these forces ashore, and they accomplished their mission. I would just say thank you to these troops in front of us. Just like this World War II veteran who's marching right here, all those troops in front of us from multiple nations have given in their own way, their own incredible way in Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, other places around the world. We have lots of veterans that we owe dearly.